Well, ho, hello. In case you were wondering, it's bloody cold. I mean, Jesus Christ, my balls are frozen. But there you go. Nobody can afford their heating, and it's minus whatever outside. So you've got to love life, ain't you, really? What makes this warm? She blew right. Let's go through what's actually out today. A couple of slippages again. Eh? Nothing too dramatic. Um, well actually, yeah. Three or four? Is that dramatic? I don't know. A um, couple of highlights for next week, and of course, all pre orders. There's lots of stuff coming out, but it's starting to slow down again. I'm telling you, it really is starting to slow down, but let's just hope next year gets even better, right? Now, what came out today? You frame Roger Rabbit in 4K. Yes, it finally came. We've got the still book here, as you can see. Beautiful, by the way. I really didn't like the look of this artwork, but when you, it, you let it sink in a bit, and I was like, yeah, fuck it. So we've got that, and the normal 4K has come out today as well. Hopefully yours came and was not dented. Mine wasn't, so that's good. Um, also, the one. Now, this is, to me, a very pointless one. For good reason. The one is an old Jet Li film. You know, you talk quite a fair few years. It's a still book. Yeah, yeah, it looks good. Why the fuck? Did you not release it in 4K in a still book? They, you're wanting 30 notes for this, and it not being 4K for 30 notes, you're taking a piss. So I think that will dent the sales of that one. I put in my notes, 30 quid, fuck off. Is anyone else picked that up? I seriously doubt that. The one that I'm still not sure of came out today is the new Candyman. We've got 4K on that one and the Blu-ray. Oh, I'm still not sure about that. I might just wait till that comes out on Sky before I really really dig into that one one that I'm really really waiting to arrive which still hasn't is Lower Decks Season 1 I love this series the first and second series are so hilarious I can't wait for the third um, still, it's still book which is what is coming for me and we have the Blu-ray as well I just love it it's just so t it's, it's just class it's exactly how you think it would be in the Lower Decks it's amazing I can't say good enough about it but I'm still waiting on mine there you go next they've been re-releasing the studio Ghibli Ghibli Ghibli's in collectors editions with art cards so what came out today was the Princess Mononoke and Porco Rossa now I may revisit these at some point next year if possible but I'm not sure they'd have to be a bloody good deal too but we'll see uh, free hand for a tough cop yeah, that, this looks cheesy 80s all the way. Um, looks like that guy who was the bad guy in Nico. You know, the one who like injecting people and all that. It looks like the bad guy on that cover to that one as well. That's come out today. And Out of the Blue. I'm not even sure about that one, but that's another one that's arrived today. Uh, Bleak Moments. That's Mike Lee in it, I think. Did that one. So you know that's going to be good. Uh, snapshot. That stalking was it like a handbook or something? Oh, I don't know. Well, yeah, I've had enough stalking in my life, in my daughter's life, to last me a lifetime. So, no more of that. Thank you. Mill of the Stone Women. Yeah, I just I, when I think Stone and Women, I just think bollocks are going to get crushed. But there you go. Sex in the City, the complete set. Now, I don't care what anyone says. If you're a serious collector, you're gonna want this. You can be all macho ass about it, but it's something to have in your collection. I still don't think it's worth 50 notes. 25 to 30 maybe at CEX at some point. That's what I would pay for it. The mating game. Yet another Attenborough. You do not get better. Well, Tad, he's what, 90, in his 90s now. It doesn't get better than this guy. The production team around him is amazing. That Since I was five years old, anything nature I've learned has been from this guy. I mean, when he goes... It is going to be such a sad day. But the mating game does look good. Brave New World? No idea on that one. Uh, another hash up on Black Beauty? Do we really need another one of them? Um, Lose the Flower of Evil? Not sure about that. But the next one. 
a different telling of Peter Pan with a film called Wendy. That that one has piqued my interest. Anyone seen it? Let me know what it's like. Um, Christmas Carol. Somebody had to release a version of it right about now, didn't they? Really? I've got literally every Christmas film I ever want in here. So I ain't about to change that. We have Demon Slayer. It's Yuba Yusha Part One. Nothing winds me up more than the way that they split up these series. It's like just taking the piss. But there you go. Intergalactic series one. I've never even heard of that one. So am I just like is it just gone over my head? My unshaved, graying, balding head. Yikes. Uh, assassination. Class is it? Assassination. Classroom. I've heard of this one, heard it's good, but I've not seen it, and this is a complete collection, so should I be barking up this tree? Let me know if anyone's seen it. Is it something I would enjoy? Um, and last but not least, we have Robbo, the Brian Robson story. Now, if you've got trouble sleeping, buy it. I mean, who the fuck cares about that? I don't know. But there you go. Now, slippages-wise, the sacrifice. Now the 28th of February 2022. Come on, guys, you can't be cocking up that much. Jesus Christ. Uh, Les Enfants Terribles. I think that's like terrible kids. I'm not French, so who cares? But that's now the 13th of December. So only a couple of weeks drop pulling off for that one. Hatchet for the honeymoon. Yeah, that would just scare any bloke. But um, you're looking at the 13th of the 12th of that one. And Inuyusha Series 1. This is not the first time this one has slipped, but it slipped to next week. So hopefully they finally stick to a date. Um, highlights for next week? The, um, we're getting nearer to Christmas, so you, there is some spicy spicy. Um, the only Fools and Horses box set is still something that I really, really, really want to see and really want to get. Um, that's out next week. Um, we also have the Karate Kid 4K3 film collection. I don't understand. I mean, I know they say about licensing and all that bollocks. What's the use of 4K in it all? when you haven't got all of them. The next Karate Kid may be shit, but as a completionist, work out the license, guys, and put it in there, for fuck's sake. Why do we want three quarters of a series? You dickheads. Um, Terminator 2, the 30th anniversary 4K 3D steelbook set, is still not the Cameron cleared bloody print. Why do we want the shit print again? The whole point of it is the T2 4K print is shit, and we've been promised a better version. So why are you releasing it like that? Nobody's going to buy it. And the other one that excites me for next week is Mole Holland Drive. Now, that's a good film. And we've got a real nice looking 4K set for that one. So, not as much as I would like to have got excited about. But, you know, beggars can't be choosers. What can I say? Now, if we look at pre-orders, there's still some spice out there. We hit the UK. We've got a weird little thing going on. We have two listings. For Venom, uh, let there be carnage. Now we've got a 4K steelbook listed for the 3rd of January, guys. So, could we get it just after New Year? Touch wood. But everything else is still um, listed around the April mark. So I don't know what to believe right now. I will keep a close eye on these date changes, and every time it changes, I will tell you on my Facebook page straight away. But if I can have Venom just after Christmas, oh yes, please. Um. Warriors 2 and The Prodigal Son is a double pack of two films. Uh, this is Yun Byu and if you don't know Yun Byu, you don't know martial arts, and Sam Hung. Now, if I have to explain to you who Sam Hung is, get off my channel. Um, it's from Eureka, 24th of January 2022. Now, that's a couple of good films. If you've ever seen Dragons Forever, you will know who Yun Byu is and you will know who Sam Hung is. But trust me those two films are a couple of class ones as well monkey kung fu yeah um i think your artist was lazy and just tried to copy the young master box set but we're looking at the 21st of march and that's a uk release as well if we jump over to america halloween kills is coming out quite quick i would say 11th of january 2022 um i still can't be asked to get it but you're looking at 4k steals 4k and blu-ray coming out on that one uh, the Dune 4K Steelbook is listed in the US on the 11th of January also. So, would you wait till after Christmas? 
we are looking at Germany before that, but you know Germany's right on Christmas, so you still probably wouldn't get it through the posting time. Um, one that did pique my interest was Ghost Riders. Now this is old school. Was it 1987? I think it was. I just always liked the cover, like the skeletons in the cowboy gear. But that is hitting the US on the 8th of Feb. It would uh, that would be an interesting one to pick up. If we have fly over to Germany, one that definitely piqued my interest is they've gone the Disney route, but it's not Disney, of course. DreamWorks has a 40 film release pack coming out. Now you're looking at 100 and what 20 quid. And that's a bit painful, but it's uh, 2nd of December, so it's actually due out in a couple of days, and it wasn't on the release lists for a while, so. Take a look at uh, what's actually in there. The latest two films, Creed's 2 and that, are in there as well. So, pondering, is that worth 120 quid for 40 films? I would say, yeah. Especially DreamWorks. Uh, one that piqued my interest as well is A River Runs Through It. Now, this is a classic and very arty film. Uh, we're looking at 4K Media Book, so, you know, Digibook as they call it. 3rd of uh, December as well, and that hasn't been on the release list for very long. So again, with Germany, that would interest me. And last but not least, uh, one film that a lot of people seem to be talking about that I know nothing about, so I need to pick it myself up on this one. Uh, the Last Night in Soho is hitting 4K as a steelbook even on the 27th of January. Now, have I missed the boat on that one? What's it about? Let me know, guys, in the comments. Do I need to be seeing that film? Because a lot of people in the old forums are talking about it. So let's see what, you know, what happens there. A quick, nice quick video for you today. I did actually have something coming in the post for the prizes for this Friday and it still hasn't arrived so I'm simply not going to do a prize today because a lot of what I have at the moment is normal fodder, nothing really blow your skirt off. Remember I'm gearing up for the 12 days of Christmas in a couple of weeks as well so I'm focusing more on getting that stuff together. One week without a competition won't kill everybody, I hope you understand. but. I'm gearing up for to try and give at least a 4k a day away through through December as well so we'll see how it goes now enjoy the rest of your night guys just a little this is just a little take on what was actually coming out um, not actual that much was put onto my Facebook page across the weekend with regards to America and Australia and Germany there was some kind of bug going on on the listings where a lot of the pictures uh, were not reproducing onto the website so you couldn't actually pick them off Bit of a pain in the arse, really, but um, I think Microsoft is still cocking up with this uh, this snipping tool thing, and it's buggering up a lot of people's systems, which is really annoying. But I managed to get most of America done. But the information I put out was literally what I could grab. It was that annoying over the weekend. But of course, any more information coming out will be on my Facebook page as well, right through the week. Um, other than that, you have a good night. I'm going to be watching this baby late in the night. I just love the artwork on that one now. It's really, really grown on me. Yeah. Christopher Lloyd is a bad guy. Just classic. Enjoy the rest of your night, guys. Please stay warm. And if you're worrying about your electric and gas bills, talk to your company because they're not all animals, really. But I don't care what everyone was saying. It's so cold around here. We need the heating on. And well, I'm not, I don't move around that much now. I need the heating on. But I think looking at this camera view of me, I oh, look scruffy as fuck, I've got, I've got air sticking out here, I've got, oh god, oh, I look like shit, we'll be sorted, I think I need a bit of skin care, you know, mark at, mark at me, lost cause me, enjoy the rest of your night guys, get over to Rob's, uh, Rob Fett Bounty's channel as well, because, um, I unfortunately, because of the way the electric and gas bills have gone, I need to stop collecting the Iron Man. So what did I do? Oh, I shipped it off to him. He's deconstructed everything and he's doing a whole video tutorial thing. He's done a really good job on the first video. Um, I'm really looking forward to watching him build it because he's a much more experienced model builder than me. And it's gone to a good iron. Simple, simple as that. Now, um, other than that, mate, I think there's just no way I could see the screws heads and stuff like that. I I had such a hard time just looking. It was just too small. It really, was just too small. 
So I'm glad he's having a better job, better time doing it than me. Get over to his channel and check it out because it's worth it. It's a laugh. And enjoy the rest of your night, guys. I'll get this video up as soon as I possibly can. And please stay safe and stay warm, guys. Take care and I will see you later in the week.